First we have to create a page where admin can manage settings. We will be using just one setting, to control the number of posts per page. So create a left menu for settings in admin header.ejs. and create a route for this settings page. In this route, we will just render the settings page. You have to add the admin check too so that only admin can access it. Try do it on your own for practice. Now create a file named settings.ejs in admin views folder. Include header and footer. Create a form for saving settings. We are saving just one setting, to control number of posts per page. You can try multiple settings using same method. and a submit button. Now we have to create this post route. We want to create setting if not exists and update if already exists. So we will be using MongoDB update function. First parameter should be empty, as we are not applying any search. Second will be the data that needs to be stored. And third should be up cert and set it to true. This will make sure to create document if not exists and update if already exists. This is the most important part here. And fourth will be the callback function which will be called once data has been saved. We will just redirect back to settings page. Right now, our settings collection is empty. Now we have one document. Even after I save the settings again, it will not create a new document, but will update the old value. So we have set maximum two posts in one page. In user home page we have to get this setting before calling the actual query. We will be using find one function, and there will be no query in first parameter. Paste the actual query inside this settings query.
We are saving the post limit setting in a separate variable. After the sort function, call limit function. And pass this variable in this. You will see the error says, limit requires an integer. Because we are receiving a string from database. You can convert this to integer by simply calling parseInt function. Only latest two posts are displayed. Perfect. Now we need to create two buttons to show older and new posts. Create two buttons right below posts loop. You can make the next button to the right by applying a CSS property float right. We need two variables, start and limit. Start will be the current post number and limit is the database value which is set by admin. We are receiving this in post limit variable. So pass this variable from server.js. Call an Ajax and pass these variables as parameters to get the next posts. Create a new route to get posts. It will be same as home page query till sort function. After sort you have to skip the records as start value. And limit is also same as home page query. So when user click on next button, it will skip first two posts and get the next two posts. and send back the next two posts. Attach this function in next button on click listener. Again we need to convert skip and limit variables to integer, using parseInt function.
it has fetched two records but didn't skip the first two posts. Because we have to increment the start variable before calling next function. Increment should be based on limit variable. So now the start value will change from 0 to 2 because the limit variable is 2. Now it has fetched the next post. Create a new function named render post. It will hide the old posts and display the new posts without refreshing the page. Check if there is any post in posts array. Create a string variable and use this in HTML function. Loop through all posts in this array. Copy the single post layout. And paste inside this loop. Append this in HTML string variable in single quotation. Do the same at the end of every line too. Replace the variables according to loop. Post ID. Post image. Title and content. Finally just call this function from Ajax success call back and pass the response as a parameter. Now just do the same for previous button too. For getting older posts, we have to decrement the start value. Everything else will remain same. Everything is working fine here. The last thing you would want to do, is to show the current post limit variable to admin. So just get the settings from database in admin settings root. And render it on settings page. You can also send the complete settings object and manage each setting on HTML page. But we are sending individual values. Now just apply the value attribute and it will be displayed.
That was it. If you have any more ideas you can mention in the comments section below.